Hello everyone. It is Friday night at quarter after eight around there. My clock's a little off. I'm drinking coffee, homemade coffee that I made on in my little $10 percolator. Yes, I said percolator. <laughs> a lot of you young people don't even know what that is, but it's a coffee pot where you perk it on top of the stove. It was $9.99 and I love it. It's basically like a um, one that you take for camping. And um, that's the way I like my coffee. I know that the, uh, the ones with the pods, the Keurig, I had one of those uh, before I got my really good machine and it broke. I thought it was okay, but I wasn't really all that thrilled with it. And it was a brand new one. And when I got my new coffee machine, I gave it to my cousin Jen. So she's using it. It was like a teal color. But anyway, I've got a lot to talk to you tonight about. But the first thing I want to talk to you about um, is Mike. I am really worried about him. If anybody has any heard from him or... I haven't checked before I came on to see if he did a video. So if anyone has heard from him, just give me a little heads up in the comments. Now I can tell I'm having a problem with my eyes, so I may have to try to find my other set of glasses. But again, my crooked blue ones, next time I go to Dollar Tree, I'm going to get a three, like a 3.75, uh, let's see, 375, maybe 400 strength because my eyes are just going downhill. Okay, let's move you so I can see you better. Okay, I have things written down because I get so distracted. Number one, I did hear from Angela Price. Hi, Angela, and I got your box all ready. You can look over on the table. It's all ready, packed, ready to go. I will mail it out on Monday the 1st because I get my, um, I get a pension from my old job. And then I get, I don't know about you guys, if you're on social security, my Mayan doesn't check doesn't come on the first. It comes on the third Wednesday. They base it on your birthday, so uh, you know, so they're kind of split up. So it's kind of good in a way. But I am mailing that out Monday. Congratulations, Angela. And I knew she would get in touch with me, but I already had her address. I but she did contact me, so that's out of the way. So, Mike. All of a sudden, the last two days, he hasn't put up any videos. Um, he, I, I texted him, uh, my friend, he has many, many girlfriends. So Radha, she told me she hasn't heard from him. So I'm really worried. So can we just do some prayers for Mike? Because he has some really bad health. He has the COPD and he's on oxygen and I just worry about him. I'll tell you, he is a phenomenal cook. I never realized just how into cooking he is and how good of a cook he is. Um, he makes fabulous meals in the slow cooker. So check out his channel, uh, Mike's Cooking Studio. Okay, as you see, I'm on my couch and I'm gonna tell you why. Today, earlier, I went to, uh, I had an appointment, so I thought to get blood work done. This blood work is to check to see how my uh, bladder, you know, the uh, urinary, the kidneys and all that is doing because I have a lot of problems. And some other blood, they got to check my immunoglobin and all because I have the cancer. And so I get there and I put my name in and they say I don't have an appointment. So she just, you know, they will not take you. If you don't have an appointment, it's a wash. So I said, I guess it didn't submit on my phone so I'm going to redo the blood work on uh, Monday because I have to babysit out that way for my grandson. So I spent the day, a good thing is I spent the day with Charlie and oh, I love that puppy. He got groomed. My daughter took him to get groomed and he looked so cute. He had, she did such a good job. She cut like around his eyes, really nice, his little eyelashes and all. It's just, he looks great. All right, so I didn't get the blood work done. Okay, um, I would like to say, tell you also that a lot of people in the comments have said they like my hair. Well, I didn't bring it up, but I call her my third daughter, or Jennifer is her name. 
and I've known her since she was a yay big. She was friends with my my two daughters, Tiffany and Sasha. And uh, my regular hairdresser is having a lot of personal issues, and she goes to school, and she's a wonderful girl, but she's just having a lot of problems. So I didn't want to bother her, but she had given me some extra color and has no pneumonia, no chemicals. So I had one more use of it, so I asked Jennifer to put it on for me because it makes my hair calm down. Excuse me, it's really frizzy from the chemo pill I'm on, so it's dry, it's terrible. And she cut it, and I said, just cut it. And um, I was shocked at how long my hair was. I can't see the back of my hair. I never really bother with it in the mirror. I can't barely stand. In fact, I always keep my mirrors in the bathroom open because I can't stand looking at myself sometimes. I just, if I have to go out, I'll spend a little more time. But um, thank you for the comments. And it's all because of Jennifer. She cut it. I'll even show you a picture. She took a picture of the back of my hair. I was shocked uh, after she had trimmed it up. So thank you for the comments because those kind of things, they make you feel good, you know, when you feel like, you know, crap all the time and then somebody gives you a comment and you're like, really? So that was so nice. So that's it. Her name is Jennifer. She's the one that has the pretzel business. And Angela, you'll be getting, I think she put, she's, I thought there was a half a dozen she donated, but there's seven chocolate covered pretzels. You're going to love them. So they are, they're going out to you Monday. Okay, next I wanted to tell you that I've got some really unbelievable friend mail. You've got to stick around for this because it floored me. I mean, floored me. I've gotten some beautiful, wonderful, generous friend mail from a lot of people on my channel, a lot of my subscribers. I could name a list of everyone. I know who they are. I know who gave me things. Sometimes I forget which went where, but that's just the old age. But I don't forget. And uh, I was floored, so I want to tell you about that in a second. Okay, the first thing I want to tell you is um, I'm really loving this coffee I just made. Okay. Before I show you my friend mail and who it came from, as you know, once a month I get uh, chemo. It's a targeted therapy to kill the bad cancer cells in my body. I have chronic lymphocytic leukemia. It's not curable, but it's manageable. And I'm very blessed, really, I really am. I didn't realize it, but when I was diagnosed, I, I found a lump on my neck. Doctors, you know, I went to several doctors and all these messed up uh, people that thought they knew it all. And, you know, it was just a mess. Finally, I got a good doctor through Cooper and she saw the lump. She goes, I want you to go right now for a CAT scan. And we finally resolved that it was this cancer. Um, I wasn't really scared. I was a little disappointed, but I'm not, I wasn't scared. And uh, I thought, you know, what it, it is what it is. And I, I am really blessed because it's a chronic form. Could it get worse? Yes, it could suddenly take a turn for the worse, but I don't look at that. I look at today, right now. That's how I live my life. And I'm very blessed to feel fairly okay. I do, you guys all know I have my bad days and I'm in bed for two, three days. I can't, I'm so weak, but I snap back. Well, this drug comes once a month. And I want to show you, as you see, I'm getting ready to do a wreath. And I'll talk to you about that at the end of the video. So it's kind of a mess over there. Okay, so this is what, this is the name of it. And this is what the plan paid. And this is what I have to pay because I have extra help because I'm not a millionaire and other payments that they make through extra help. That is what I have to, they're, they're paying the, the state, thank God, to kind of keep me alive. <laughs> I mean, probably it would take a year for me to go downhill, but that is the cost. Is this crazy just to, have a pill 28 days a month so I pay for that I don't 
uh, I did have to pay $600 a month, but finally I got uh, a supplementary insurance and extra help. So I really thank God for that. But anyway, it comes in this box, which I use the cardboard a lot in it, like this, every month, priority mail. And this is the way it comes. And it shows you how you take one a day. But the reason I'm bringing it up is because they sent out this. Onco360 is the name of the company. And I thought, wow, this is a nice bag. If you could pull it. And inside, they sent me all kinds of goodies. Some mask, um, a little package of oncology wipes, uh, Onco360 pharmacy wipes, a mask, some of these gloves. I was like, that is so cool. All kinds of gloves, which I could use even for cleaning. I got one, two, three, nice clean mask. And it says a gift from Onco360. Three surgical masks, two one ounce bottles of sanitize. So I'm gonna send, give some of these away. I already packaged up Angela, but three pair of latex-free gloves and a package of disinfectant wipes. That's what they are. I thought that was so nice, and I really love this bag. Anyway, now the good news, the unbelievable news. Gotta take a breather. So, yesterday, I went down and got my mail. Like you know, I live in the senior building, and, uh, I was walking out the door and one of my friends goes, Cheryl, there's a package for you. I said, really? I didn't order anything from Amazon. And this is the package. And I'm like, what? Now, I think you guys, I know that I have pretty crappy <laughs> uh, paint brushes, but they do the job. Well, I get these paint brushes in the mail and I'm like, what in the name of goodness? And they are nice they are made by jerry o and they're wooden handles these are really good paint brushes all types all points because when you're a painter you have to use different brushes for different techniques and painting so i learned i'm like what in the name of god i didn't order them and i get this beautiful note from maria and she has a web page to send, send a thank you note. You can learn more about your gift or start return, which no way. They are white synthetic hair round and flat paint brush set with short wood handle for acrylic and watercolors. I'll show you the note. I am so shook up. I can barely hold it together. And this is the note share i figured you'd also enjoy a nice set of brushes to go along with all those well i'm not going to tell you yet enjoy from crafty ria maria johnson and that is the name of her channel crafty ria you got to check her out not only is she amazing and generous and she sends gifts to everyone that i mean she just sent all these beautiful gifts to mike she's unbelievable So her name um, is uh, her name of her page is Crafty Ria. Cri Maria does cards that she could open up a shop and sell them. They're so magnificent. They're so beautiful. She does it effortlessly. It's unbelievable. I mean, I could just I go in a trance when I watch her do these cards. I'm like, how does she do it? She has a really neat cutter and but the colors and she just did one the other day with a butterfly she does um, that um, like like uh, Debbie does Debbie from this and that um, the diamond painting and I'm like what is she gonna do with that butterfly well she ended up using it for hello a card she's amazing but this lady is so generous it blew my mind but I'm not I'm not through yet so today, I wanted to do a video yesterday to thank her for the paintbrushes. I was just blown away. I go down today and there's 
a box. They put our mail on the floor by our mailboxes. They're all clumped together, but the boxes, you gotta go through them to see if your name's on them. And I just happen to glance down and I see my name. And this box is heavy. I'm gonna say it's about two, three pounds. I used to weigh meat, so I know. I was a meat cutter. Okay. It says it's from Amazon, and I'm like, I did not order anything from Amazon. Maybe my daughter sent me something. I don't know. And this, and it's heavy. I'm going to turn it around. Okay. Sorry about the mess over there, but I got to do a re soon. It's called Spree Acrylic Paint Set. I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to show you the colors. This thing is so heavy. 18 acrylic colors. Hold on. I am so shook up right now. I, I can barely. You girls. I don't even know how to say it. But I. This. Okay. There's spree acrylic paint. If you need any assistance. It gives you a phone number. These paints are outstanding. And I. Okay. Here's the big thing. I was just saying the other day, I got to get paint. I was running out of my green, my uh, my um, that forest green that I love. I have no white paint. I'm like, I got to get paint. But things are not in the budget for me right now, okay? I, you know, it's been rough for me just a little lately. I'm okay. I eat. I'm all right. But, oh my God. Look at these colors. Look at this navy blue oh my god this is the first i'm seeing them this is like a gorgeous brown i am so 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 it's called outdoor this beautiful brown look at this purple blue purplish blue this is more purple it looks bluer on the on the uh, tr uh on the camera here not camera oh my god i love this color oh wait no it's not called outdoor hold on one second okay i got my trusty flashlight here i keep this little flashlight in my bedroom and when i walk the dog at night time because i can't see very well so let me see if i can get the colors on here okay yes this is called aquamarine but it's more of a purple color Okay, and this one, it's very similar, but darker, has more black. This is, it's called, gosh, my eyes, Feel Low Blue, I think. Feel How Low Blue, look at the color. I'm trying to get you got there you go. Um, and this brown, burnt sienna burnt sienna i want you to try to see how beautiful these colors are anyway there's 18 Ooh. okay i love this i love this color this is yellow i can't read these a cheer a cheer it's like a french is that beautiful I got, and I've got my white. I'm so excited. I got my white. I cannot wait to paint. This gorgeous blue. It's got like an orangey, red, a yellow blue. What am I doing? This is, this is, uh, I'm sorry. I'm just like freaked out here. Orange, yellow. Isn't that beautiful? I love colors. There's another blue. This is acrylic paint. Uh, it doesn't say the color. Isn't that something? Oh, yeah, it does. It's ti titanium white. Yes, titanium white. It's a nice bright white. And then another blue. See, it's got all different shades. Cobalt, which... Remember, if you guys, I don't know if I did it on here, but I made a cobalt blue 
Uh, it was, I don't know if you guys remember, you can go back, but I was making out of picture frames, dollar store picture frames. I would paint them colors and design them like my friend Sue and this lady loves cobalt blue in her kitchen. She has all that cobalt blue glass. So I made her a cobalt blue. Uh, she loves it. And, and you can, it's a whiteboard, made it into a whiteboard and I designed it into something that the person's interested in. So, oh, I just love these colors. There's more green. Look at the, oh, there's the green I was talking about that I need. <laughs> anyway, gorgeous colors. I'm so freaked out. I can't, I can't tell you how happy I am. Oh my God, I love them. Anyway, I'm going to put these all back. Okay, I just got myself another cup of coffee. Oh, if you notice, I'm moving around a lot and I'm on the sofa. I can't do the wreath tonight, guys. This is the wreath I'm going to work on. But before I get into that, see how I am? I, I can't stay on topic. Maria, thank you so much. I was like a little kid at Christmas when I saw that. I, I can't wait to start painting and paint. I don't just paint pictures. I paint everything. I have some really great ideas for crafts coming up. I watch other crafters and then I run with it in another direction. I just get a little bit of a, a little bit of an idea and I run with it. And I'm so excited to show it to you. But the first things first, I got to get this wreath done. It's an order. Uh, she wants to pay me for it. I'm dragging my feet. I didn't have any wreath forms. I went and found this in the Dollar Tree. It's a wire. A wired frame and then I didn't have enough to cover the whole thing and then I'm like hey I like that so you'll see what I come up with on the next video but I have the best subscribers in the world I know there's a lot of generous kind wonderful people out there but I immediately want to do something and give a give back because I'm not used to that I'm not used to receiving so many beautiful things it's just unbelievable and maria i will make good use of those paints you have a heart of gold like radha mike donna oh my god all of you are just amazing kim kim loves artie deborah apricot angela price Oh my God, I, I don't want to forget anybody, but guys, I remember everything you did for me. I really do. I have every, all the little trinkets you sent me. I even cleaned out my closet and rearranged everything. I know exactly where I'm going to go when I need something, but I want to use up what I have because, you know, you can only use and do so many crafts at a time. But I have some great ideas coming up and I love you guys so much. Before I sign off, I went to my daughter's today after I got thrown out of the blood work place. And uh, as soon as I went in her bedroom, she goes, Mom, you don't look good. And I said, what do you mean I don't? She goes, you look sick. And I said, well, Tiff, I'm sick, you know. She goes, no, I mean, you look sick. You're very pale. And so I, I thought that was strange because the last three days I've been feeling very nauseous. But I take my chemo pill at night now so I don't feel real sick during the day. So, um, I don't feel that bad. I just feel a little nauseous here and there. And, but this strange pain is coming into my neck. I had, I don't know if you can see it. I had neck surgery. I don't know if you can see, you probably can on here. The scar is right here. Right here. I don't know if you can see it. See that scar? There you go, right there. Well, he cut this guy. I fell uh, in a parking lot. I went home after work and I, I had like five bags in my hands. So like the plastic bags, I couldn't get up. I cut my knees, I, my back, my leg went underneath the, the back of the underneath of me and I hit, cracked my head onto the, uh, the side of the pavement, the asphalt. And I was bleeding and all, and I went home. And then the next day, I felt like I was hit by a truck. 
So this is back in 08. So then a couple years after that, I started having serious problems at my job with my neck, the sharp, horrible pain and pressure. So after suffering for a couple of years, I went to a uh, orthopedic doctor and he said, you need surgery. He said, you have a, a, a collapsed, whatever, disc in your neck. So I go, oh, okay, now I know why I'm in pain. So then I went, got a second opinion. My daughter's like, mom, don't do it, don't get surgery. And I, but I'm like, how am I gonna work like this? I need my job, I need my insurance. So I went to another specialist who was affiliated with somebody in New Jersey and I won't say his name and he's like, oh, I'll do your surgery here at Virtua and I was happier. I didn't want to go to Philadelphia and he said the same thing. You have a collapsed uh, vertebrae or whatever and I'm going to put a dabber bone in your neck and I freaked out and he goes, you're going to feel great. You're going to be able to go back to work in like a month thought it over. I had two opinions, so I went and had the surgery. So like I said, he cut, I wish you could see it better, but you can't barely see it. He did a great job right here. And I thought, I wonder why it doesn't cut through the back of my neck. Cause you know, this is where they went. So they had to move around my thyroid and everything to get to the, uh, put the cadaver bone in my, my spine, my cervical spine. Well, the surgery went fine and I wore a neck brace for, he said I'd be back to work in a month. Well, forget it. I didn't go back to work for three months because I wasn't healing properly. Finally, he released me. I went back to work and I'm telling you within, I would say two months, I was in agony. And then finally it subsided and I was able to work and finish out until the, the store closed. So my point is, the last three days, I've been getting this strange, sharp nerve pain in my neck. And I'm so afraid because my bones, I've been told, you know, I had the fracture in my lumbar. I'm so afraid that my bones are fragile and something's going on with that cadaver bone in there. So uh, just say a prayer for me because I can't afford anything to go wrong with, with my spine anymore. Uh, I need I need my neck, I need my back, gotta keep walking. So I'm gonna be real cautious, but I just took two uh, calcium pills and I, I gotta really eat right. I'm drinking a lot of milk because uh, I'm really concerned about my neck. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know and I'm like, to my daughter, she's like, mama, I'm worried. I said, don't worry, you know, I'll be okay. But anyway, thank you for letting me vent. Thank you for letting me share the joy and excitement that I have from Maria. Maria, you, you're something. There's so many angels out there in this world, I'm telling you. I wish I were a millionaire, you know, because I would really, I wish I could do a lot. And you are gonna be hearing from me, trust me, Maria. Thank you guys, thank you for watching. Next video, we're gonna work on this wreath. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with it, but colors are pretty, aren't they? Um, I love my centerpiece. I think it's so pretty, and I gave my daughter her little, uh, what do you call that? A little, the little garden, whatever the heck you call it. She, she loves it. She put it on her door today at her house. She really loves it. I, I was thinking of making like a little leprechaun and putting that in my little centerpiece. That'll be, maybe that'll come up within the next week or so. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry I've been blabbing on. I'm going to pray for you. Please pray for me. God bless you. Thank you, Maria. Mike, I hope you're okay. I love you. We're praying for you. Please be well. God bless.